Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here. I'm joined by Al Manez. Hello, it's me again. <laughs> <laughs> it's him again. And uh, we're going to show you the uh, the second battle that we uh, we fought. Remember, this is the best two out of three series, and we're fighting this on the, the Chin uh, unit pack mod. And uh, yeah, we both have no experience with this mod. I have, I have five minutes more experience than he does, though. <laughs> I, I did some test runs. All right, so I'm going to load up the replay, and Al is going to wait for me on the next screen. But these are the army compositions. You can see we both have the same amount of slots now. We both have 18 slots taken. So, yeah, Al brought a much bigger army this time. Learned my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, I can see you have a lot more. You have, you have more cav than I do. I have three cav. You have uh, five cav? Yeah, four plus my general. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a pretty big uh, cav player. Are you really? Yeah. You, you know, that's how I used to be in, in Rome 1. And then uh, now when that's I play Rome wish. 2, I kind of shy away from Cav now. <laughs> yeah, they're not as good as they used to be um, yeah. after a few patches. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, it's kind of stupid how infantry beat uh, beat the melee Cav. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you it's charge your really, Cav, and then really if you close. leave them there, they die. Mm -hmm. So it's like, uh, yeah, you definitely need to get that charge in and then just get out with that Cav yeah. now. It's not like in like like Napoleon to uh, Napoleon to the war where you charge your melee camp in and then they kill the infantry. Oh yeah, <laughs> they, <just> go, <laughs> they sit there and just hack him down. Oh man. Okay, so um, before we start the uh the battle, um, we're gonna cover the armies. Uh, do you want to cover yours first this time? All right. Um, my armies consist of uh, four pack units, uh, the tin halberdiers, um. And then four units of archers, and I have uh, five units of death warriors, uh, pretty cheap sword units. Um, I don't plan on using them as frontline units, and more as a flanking unit, which is why I brought um, brought them instead of the uh, more expensive ones. And then I focused on uh, having four units of calf, and uh, with my general on horseback as well. So yeah, that's my army. Awesome, I, I like it. Um... Yeah, so he had a much bigger army this time, because like in the, la in the first video, he brought a lot of uh, elite units. Um, so you can see a much better contest in this, in this second fight. Uh, now, we're going to look at my army. So let's start with my, uh, my front here. I got four units of the, the Chin Military Array Archers. They served me well in the last battle, so I brought them back. Same amount. Actually, I have the same army that I brought in the first battle, but we're going to go over it again. Um, then I have uh, three units of the Chin uh, Halberdor Cav. And I, I did the same deployment. I put one in the middle and one on each wing. That way, in case he charged my sword units, I had my cav to counter charge. Um, I got my general unit. This is a, also a sword unit. That's my chin general's guard. Then I have six units of these chin death warriors. As Al said, they're very cheap, and you can buy lots of them. And finally, I have four units of the, the chin swordsmen, two on both wings. So that is the uh, setup. So how did you feel going into this uh, battle, now that you changed your army? Uh, I felt like I had a better chance, uh, because I have a bigger army. Uh, at least I can get my army on par with yours, so that I don't lose out in the, uh, in the number, numbers game. And, uh, if I, I moved, I, and if I used my uh, missile well, and protect them well, as well as my calf, uh, I, could have a, I can have a chance this game. Definitely. All right, so uh, those are the uh, the game plans. My 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 game plan is the same as the first, basically. So I probably should have switched up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, if, you, if your plan worked, there's no reason to change. <laughs> that's true, but you know I want to be fluid, like <laughs> like Sun Tzu says. But all right, well, um, you ready to start the uh, replay? I'll we can start yep. in. I'll do the countdown from five seconds. All right. All right, five, four, three, two, one, play. All right. All right. So the battle started. I'm going to inch up a little bit, and Al is moving his army up too. Mm -hmm. So my first thought, when I see your, your spear units in the front, I, I want to shoot them with my archers, just like, you know, grind them down with my, my, my missiles. Yeah, that, that, that was the plan to, like... I hope that you uh, used your archers against my spears so that my archers can fire back at your archers. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so I felt kinda, like you're kind of like meet you. Yeah. 
It, that's a good idea. Um, so I got kind of worried when I saw you had, what, three cabinets concentrated on yeah. this side. <laughs> yeah. So to counteract that, I started moving all my cab over to my left wing. Yeah, I wanted to have uh, the early cab advantage mm -hmm. so that I can use them effectively uh, against your infantry since I have uh, the cheaper sword units compared to uh, your four uh, sword swordsmen. Mm -hmm. So I had to use the calf to level things out at the end. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea, especially if they have a lot of sword units who aren't really made for fighting calf. Um, mm -hmm. As we are talking about though, I wanted to shoot these spearmen with my archers I am, and then Al wanted me to do that in the first place, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm aiming my archers at uh, all four my archers at one of your archer unit in the middle. Oh, focus fire. Yeah, the one on your left, I think, second one. That's a good idea. Now you're coming in. Um, over on the the other wing, this is where our cav is. I, I I want to charge his cav. He's gonna pull back though. Yep. And I should not have followed you. Because we see your general coming in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was what I was talking about, uh, about having the general on horseback and can act as a uh, combat unit as well. Mm -hmm. A very mobile one. Yeah, I think at this point I said, to hell with it, you know, I'm going to lose my cav, so now I, I wanted to focus on the infantry fight. Yeah, you, have, you definitely have the advantage uh, on the left, since you had the uh, better uh, sorted unit. Yeah, I, I, I was hoping that would have... Uh been effective enough but yeah anyway so yeah his archers are targeting my archers it looks like and uh, my calves or my archers are targeting his spearmen I killed one of his spear units well almost yeah. did they went down to 18 men and, and they are still not routing <laughs> yeah <laughs> they really are brave yep don't want to you know go back on the, the emperor there he's gonna punish you otherwise so um, over on the right flank, my guys got shattered here too. You had some, ca you have one unit of cav there, as well. Yep. So you're definitely working your cav assets on me. Yeah, they they were my only chance of winning. <laughs> <laughs> and over oh. in the middle as well, I used uh, my spears to hold up uh, a bulk of your forces, which was the plan as well. To use my spears to hold uh, your front line, so that my flanks can uh, start winning and then start collapsing into the middle to support them. Yes, I yeah, I, I did see that. You get that one spread out line, right? Holding yeah. two of my guys. And uh, that's when I saw your cab whipping around. So I tried, tar I tried to target them with my archers. Um, it's, it's not going to do it though. And, and uh, over in the middle, you're chasing my archers with the one unit and then uh, I, I spit my archers up so that they can fire individually and kite individually if need be. So they don't, yeah. they don't clunk up together and die together. That's so true. Yeah, I watched that in slow motion happening. I was like, oh my gosh, uh, I'm still <laughs> going to lose them. <laughs> I, I was hoping that that would have been enough just to push your archers away. But yeah, as, as Al said, it's, he just split, split his guys up and it wasn't enough. Uh, pretty effective uh, way of uh, kiting if you have two, uh, you just need two archer units against like a, a a chasing infantry. You can like kill the infantry without suffering too much losses. Yeah. Just kite and shoot, kite and shoot. Exactly. So very 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 painful archery there against me. Yeah, over in the middle, I caught up with your archers as well, so they can yes. be annoying. <laughs> yeah, he has he has these two units here. They're, they're slowing my guys down, and he's just kind of uh, squeezing in. Yeah, you, I didn't you like. You still have quite a couple of sword units, though. Yeah, I had a few. I, I was I was so worried about your archers just shooting me to, to death. Plus, like, you still have a lot of cav left too. Yeah. But uh, I brought back this one unit right here of uh, Chin Death Warriors. I was hoping this outflanking movement would have killed the killed your guys here, so I could, that would free up my archers. But it was just taking too long. You can see that spear unit that I have is holding up really well. It has like 170 kills. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was that was messed up. <laughs> yeah, they, I I was surprised as well. Look, they are getting sandwiched and they are not they're still not routing. Yeah. 
I, I think you know at this at this juncture, you, I, I guess maybe you guys had the morale or something. Yeah, it it was still pretty close though. Like at this point, I any it, it could have been anyone's game. It 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 could have been, but as you said, you had your you're working your calf to to ex to extreme efficiency. And then, this is when you get him in here, I think. Yeah, this is when the charges begin. So brutal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, luckily I was able to uh, activate some of my, my general abilities there. I think I, I did the, uh, what is that? Is that raise banner, I think? Keeping them in the fight a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. <laughs> Now here's Al's general. He comes in for this uh, decisive charge, and that annihilates most of my guys, and that causes this uh, chain. So, be the end of that battle. So, right there, Al won the second battle. Yeah, his cav. Look at those kills on his cav. My gosh. <laughs> yeah, his archers. I mean, my archers did some pretty good damage. But I think Al formulated a a, a a better strategy than I did in this in this battle, and he executed a lot better. Yeah, I'm still a little pretty close though. So good game. Yeah, it's a very good game. I, I keep like man that, that that cav part in the beginning where I chased your cav. Yeah. Back <laughs> oh my gosh, what was I thinking? <laughs> I, I, I fell into his <laughs> trap. But uh, yeah, good game. Um, the next uh, video will be the, the third battle, the decisive battle. And uh, you guys will see that eventually. And uh, yeah, good game to Al. Good game. And any any last words from the second battle? Um, the third game will be really close. <laughs> yeah. Just very, very exciting match. Yeah, third battle is very close. I hope the replay shows it accurately. <laughs> mm-hmm.